Hello girls, gays, and bays. It is Alpha H Funk and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since we've heard that one. How is everyone doing today? Today, um, in preparation of Halloween weekend, on Saturday, it is my best friend Haley's birthday, and she's hosting a party. And for the life of me, it's only a couple days before Halloween weekend, and I quite literally don't have a costume every year since I've been designing clothes. I've been making my own costumes, and we're gonna do just that today. I mean, technically, this video is going to be split into a couple days because a bitch works full time. Okay, wait, wait, wait. First, let me show you all the inspo pictures. So this is gonna be our inspo picture for the costume. The thing is, it's literally just fur and chains, and I can fucking do that. But yeah. Welcome to my channel. If you guys haven't seen me before, by the way, my name is Thomas. Um, I've been creating content on YouTube here now for like literal years. I will say my past year and a half, I have been inconsistent and spotty. Probably going to be the same moving forward. By the way, if you don't follow my Instagram, go follow that because that really be like one of the only fucking places I'm active at. Now, I actually, just like every other fucking influencer, started my own podcast as someone who is always chasing different endeavors in life. I thought it would be fitting to, you know, start one. And it's called VT with Twonk, hosted by yours truly, LB Twonk. And it's only available on Spotify. So it would mean the world to me, guys, if you like watching my YouTube videos. Let me tell you, I've been creating over on that podcast. I feel like it's worth mentioning, where the fuck has Thomas been? Thomas has been living his life and living a lot healthier of a life than I have been living the past couple years. I felt like a lot of that I had to live offline. First plan of action is to go get more chains and hardware from Home Depot. That'll be as high as fuck in Home Depot. And that honestly sounds like a nightmare right now. I should I've arrived at Home Depot and it's busy as shit. I'm about to go into incognito mode. This is literally me whenever I'm in public and I go somewhere I do not want to be perceived. Looks like we're already getting ready for Christmas. Sunglasses came off. I'll see you then. <laughs> Stockings were hung by the chimney with care. In hopes that St. Nicholas soon. Full ass fever dream. Alright, so it's the next day, and I am on a last whim decision right now. So I ordered this beanie on Amazon, and it actually comes with a fucking beard. But I'm not wearing that fucking beard. That's why I'm growing out my facial hair right here. Don't get me wrong, it looks really good, but. I can literally crochet, and I feel like a beanie's not that hard to make. I'm out doing laundry right now. I have time to fucking kill. And so I'm gonna crochet a beanie. I think this will be a really easy project. DIY my own horns. But the party is literally tomorrow, and I'm just giving myself more work. Without further ado, let's get into making this beanie while I wait for my laundry. We've made some progress, but I want to show you guys my outfit. It was Barbie day at work today. Right now it is literally like 11 p.m. I just got home from like Friday night, busy as fuck at the dispensary because it's Halloween weekend. I made some progress on my beanie, so let me show you guys. When I have my mind set on something, I make it happen, and somehow I managed to bust out 
this whole ass beanie today. I still have to like tie the top, but it fits my head pretty good tonight because I just want to get this out of the way. Um, I want to make coins for it. And now that I just fucking realize that I'm home, I realize it's a good thing I busted out this beanie because I had an Amazon package and that shit for sure was not at my front door just now. Damn, that's crazy. Anyways, it's a good thing I did this and I feel like my intuition was literally telling me to start this in case something like this fucking happened. I need to look into that right now. Well, okay, actually it didn't get delivered. Now it says it's arriving tomorrow by 10. So, like I said, it's a good thing I did this because I would have been freaking out. I also stopped and I got Taco Bell on the way home. I just was too fucking lazy to cook tonight. Cheesy potatoes, a chalupa because those shits are good as fuck, and then I got a soft taco. So I'm gonna devour this. And then I'm gonna finish this fucking beanie and then I will show you guys what the beanie looks like when it's done. Okay, so this is as good as it's gonna get. Took me so long to make those horns. But a bitch is tired. Um, I'll, I'll do the final details tomorrow. It is fully the next day. Right now, it is the day of the party. We are going to put together the rest of the costumes. Now, our next plan of action is going to be the harness. So I got my mannequin vest right here. I got my bong. I got my pumpkin spice cold brew. This is the Maven Orange Bellini. I really wish you guys were able to smell this because it smells exactly like oranges. Comparing to the reference of the costume, I think I want to do the harness a little bit different. I'm honestly just gonna wing this shit. There's no other way to kind of do this. Also, I never showed you guys what I got at the Home Depot. I'm about to expose some of my secrets of the clothing I'd be making. So these are the connectors that I use. I literally just buy chain, like I have them cut it there. Have always done this, will continue to do this. But yeah, let's get into making this bitch a thing. I'm riding around in my cars low. What you waiting for? I feel like I hit the lotto. What you waiting for? I'm riding around in my girl's eye. What you waiting for? We're riding around just to get by. What the fuck you waiting for? I'm riding around in my cars, low. What you waiting for? I feel like I hit the lotto. What you waiting for? I'm riding around in my girl's eye. What you waiting for? We're riding around just to get by. What the fuck you waiting No, cause shout out me. Actually did that quick as fuck and easy as fuck, but this is the under harness. I literally just use a mix of connectors, binder rings, and chain. Love that. If I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I have learned clothes making and like literally I taught myself through just trial and error and learning stuff on the internet and so a lot to do with that trial and error is just like doing things how my mind makes sense. I don't have a pattern for like the shoulder pads thing I want to make so I'm taking this extra <laughs> Target Pride shirt and I'm gonna cut it up to see if I can get the fabric to make a pattern. I don't know it makes sense in my head and so you're just gonna see me do that. This makes more sense to me to kind of cut up a piece to make a pattern. I, for the life of me, could not draw from scratch. And now we're gonna go to the part I'm actually dreading, which is cutting the fur. This is like the bane of the designing career because like cutting fur is just always a fucking mess. But I'm gonna try to not be messy today. We'll see. Ages and ages ago, 
I went to downtown LA to the fashion district and I bought a fuck ton of fur fabric. I probably spent damn near like $150 on faux fur fabric just to quite literally never use it. So the fabric that I'm using today, but it's this black fabric, but it kind of has this reddish tint to it. So I did in fact make a big old mess, but we got our shoulder shaw piece, whatever it is. Um, I don't, yeah, you could definitely tell I did some damage. Tell me you're a bud tender without telling me you're a bud tender because all your containers are being used as weights right now. At this point, it's time for me to make a pattern for the arm and leg warmers because I don't know how to do this. So I'm gonna figure it out. You know, one thing I lack is a fucking ruler and that would be so useful right now. <laughs> but I made these patterns for my arm and leg warmers. Honestly, I just like looked up a Google image on how to do a leg one and then I just like figured I would do the same with the arm. Just took a vacuum to the kitchen because I had made such a fucking mess. But I done cut all my fabric, it's all sitting there in a pile, so now it's time to get sewing. I don't sew all that often, so I'm excited for this part. I know it sounds strange, but I used to count change On the counter at the grocery store, the bags I would arrange Now his face is looking kind of flustered He didn't know that I was my own hustler that shit ate though like okay perf let me go finish obviously we fast forward a bit now we are gonna beat the mug i have a little under an hour to get ready don't really know how i'm gonna do my makeup i'm kind of gonna just wing it because like obviously this costume is not an original viking so like i don't have to do any like Viking makeup. I do want to look cute and I think I want a gash on my face somewhere. I feel like that's where we're at right now. I don't know what it is about this weekend. I think it's the fact that I was sick earlier this month for like two weeks, but I'm feeling like I want to be absolutely fucking feral tonight. I just realized my shirt is on backwards. In true fashion, I'm in a rush. So I'm gonna take this bong toke and then I'm gonna show y'all the final look. Okay, y'all are gonna get the reveal in three, two, one. <laughs> Bitch, I ate people the leg warmers. Once I have shoes on, I feel like it'll be cuter because it's not gonna be white down there. Let's go through the fit and talk about each piece that we made. Of course, we have the Viking hat. Makeup, this is where we went with. I got scars, because Vikings have scars. Fur shawl with matching yarn for a tie, matching gauntlets, matching leg warmers. For my bottoms, I had like just this little pair of like tights. I have a little long sleeve wrapped around my waist just in case it gets cold. And then I added a belt, and then of course the chain harness. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen, and gentle ladies, and them -dies. That's the look, bitch. I eat that, and I'm about to eat down this party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what time is it? Shot o'clock. What are you supposed to be? A woman. Yeah. Yeah, like you. Okay, queen with her cake. Yeah, I always keep laughing posting without asking. There she is! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to the best bitch. Love night show! Vlog, I've had a night. So this shit turned into an award show. Everybody shut the fuck up! 
This is all rigged. This is rigged. <laughs> so we ended up in the streets. Superstars on Third Street. Yeah, ended. Hey, throw it forward. Hey. If you guys have made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you so much for watching and joining me on my journey to becoming a Yasified Viking. If you guys like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up and honestly help your boy out. And subscribe to the fucking channel. Support him while he's being a fucking YouTuber. Before we head out, it's only tradition that we take one last hit together. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at LBTwunk. TikTok at LBTwunk and honestly, Twitter at LBTwunk. Also, make sure guys, don't forget to go listen to my podcast, The Tea with Twunk, hosted by yours truly. Over on Spotify, that will be linked down in the description along with all my other socials. I will catch you in another video soon. XOXO, LBTwunk.